Dear students, I welcome you in the course of Leadership, Emotional Intelligence and Decision Making. This is module number 84 and we are going to talk about what makes an effective leader in terms of its practical implications. This article is written by Peter F. Drucker, which is also known as, who is also known as father of modern management. The Peter F. Drucker has given us certain ingredients to make the recipe for becoming effective executive. Now, when we talk about becoming effective executive, remember that there are certain things we need to focus upon and those details would be discussed in more elaborative manner now. When we talk about becoming an effective executive, the first thing is that we should have the knowledge that you should be requiring to make the things good. You have to ask what needs to be done, what are the requirements of the stakeholders, what are the things we need to focus upon. Once you know what must be done, identify tasks you are best at and concentrating one at a time because multitasking is not something which is very appreciable. You should be able to set the hierarchy of priority and that hierarchy of priority should be executed as per planned. Second thing you need to know is ask what's right for the enterprise and obviously that should be in the right direction of their mission, vision and values and that should be according to the defined objectives. Don't agonize, this is a very important thing you need to understand, don't agonize over what's best for owners, investors, employees or customers. Decisions that are right, that is very important to understand, the decisions that are right for your enterprise are ultimately right for all the stakeholders. Because हमें ये भी देखना होगा कि stakeholder के concerns with the organization वो क्या हैं और जब तक हम stakeholder concern understand नहीं करेंगे, it would be difficult for us to decide that what is actually right for the organization. Secondly, remember that when you are converting knowledge into action, you have to develop the action plans and these action plans are basically related to your plans which you have devised that specify desired results and constraints and in accordance with the organizational facility. For example, is the course of action legal and compatible? ये दो चीजें हमें चेक करनी बहुत जरूरी हैं, because अगर कोई legal implication वहाँ पर रूनुमा हो गई, तो obviously उसके जवाब दे भी, फिर आप हो वोगे, और organization is going to suffer with it. So with the company's mission, values and policies, तो कहीं पर भी policies की खिलाफ वर्जी, वो ना हो रही हो. Secondly, take responsibility for decisions. And when we talk about responsibility for decisions, remember and ensure that each decision specifies what's accountable, because जवाब दही जरूरी है, for carrying it out when it must be implemented, who will be affected by it and who must be informed. So, with the stakeholders who are concerned, hai, they should be informed accordingly, jo information be unko require hogi. Another important thing is talking about take responsibility for communicating. And when you talk about responsibility for communicating, get input from suppliers, subordinates and peers on your action plan. Because 360 evaluation करने से हमें इस बात का अंदाजा हो जाता है कि हम कब कहाँ क्यों कैसे क्या गलती कर रहे हैं या क्या सही कर रहे हैं। And focus on opportunities. आपको positivities को promote करना है rather than कि आप सिर्फ problems को बैठकर सोचते रहें। Because problem itself is not something to think about. Rather जो better focus upon the opportunities and the solutions जो उन problems को हल कर सकती हैं। So you get results by exploiting the opportunities not solving problems, then match your best people with the best opportunities taake wo zyada behtar tor apne nataij ko hasil wo kar sakein. Another important thing is that you have to ensure company wide accountability. Sab log usme involve ho, ek holistic view, ek holistic perspective hume lekar chalna hai. Us maksad ke liye you have to conduct productive meetings aur productive meetings ke liye yaad rakhiye ga ke you have to articulate each meeting's purpose making an announcement and delivering a report about the feedback and about the contents and about the details related to that particular meeting. Secondly, always remember that meetings mein ya generally be apni communication with the people mein you have to inculcate the culture of we which is promoted rather than ke you should be focusing on I which is not much appreciated. So your authority comes from your organization's trust in you. And this trust would always be built jab aap we ka nara lagaoge rather than focusing on just I. To get the best results, always consider your organization's needs and opportunities 
بفور یور آن تو جب تک آپ یہ پریورٹی طے نہیں کر پائیں گے اٹ وڈ بی ڈیفیکلٹ فار یو ٹو کنٹینیو بیکمنگ این افیکٹو ایگزیکٹو ڈیئر اسٹوڈینٹس وی ہیو جسٹ گون تھرو دا ڈیٹیل آف آل دا فیکٹرس دیٹ ہاؤ وی آر گوئنگ ٹو میک افیکٹو لیڈرس اینڈ آبویسلی دوز آر دا لیڈرس وچ آر ورکنگ فار این آرگنائزیشنل فیسلٹی اب اگر ہم اس ساری بات کو کنکلوڈ کریں تو یاد رکھیے گا کہ آپ کو سب کو ساتھ لے کر چلنا ہے اور ساتھ لے کر آپ تبھی چل پاؤ گے وین یو فوکس اپان آل آف اس یو یوز دا ایکسپریشن وی رادر دین آئی سیکنڈلی آپ کی میٹنگس آپ کے آبجیکٹو ڈیفینیشن آپ کا موومنٹ ٹوورڈس دا رائٹ ڈائریکشن یہ تمام چیزیں کلیئر آپ کو ہونی چاہیے تبھی آپ ایک افیکٹو لیڈر کے طور پر افیکٹو ایگزیکٹو کے طور پر آرگنائزیشن فیسلٹی میں اپنا کردار وہ ادا کر پائیں گے تھینک یو